Hey y'all. <clears throat> hey y'all. It is February the 26th, I believe, 2019. We're here in the morning um, here in Central Texas. It's about 7, 7.30 in the morning. All right. Let's see, it's kind of beautiful, uh, but it's raining, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. It's another installment to the uh, workout series. I know a lot of people are out there working out, making themselves stronger, tearing apart their muscles so they can rebuild them in a stronger way or doing whatever, staying fit. And uh, I just want to remind y'all, I love to hear about, you know, what, is, what do y'all do out there? Where you're at? I mean, some places are real cold. And it's real cold. It's going to be hard to get me outside. I like to be outside. When I do the uh, working out and stuff like that, <clears throat> what do y'all do out there? Where, where do y'all go? Does it even matter how cold it is? I want to know that sort of stuff. But also, I wanted to give you a taste. As you can see, like I said, it's raining. And uh, my original plans were perhaps to go for a little run. It's by default and stuff. I got to work on this bike and clean it up and lube it up. Before I keep riding it and stuff, I got to maybe give it some air. <clears throat> so, you know, my default is running. Of course, I'm, I'm just not going to do it right now because right? it's raining. I know some people might like that, but I don't like that. All right. If I had one complaint, I guess, about San Antonio, and I don't necessarily, about the weather. I don't think you should complain about the weather where you're at necessarily, but if I did have a complaint, it would be that Gosh, dang, it seems to rain every single morning or at night, like at some period. Always, always. Makes it a little bit more difficult uh, for folks who want to run, but you know, it's just what it is, all right? Uh, I've been led to believe that we probably shouldn't even be wearing shoes. My biggest problem with running in the rain is that it messes up my shoes, all right? It tears them apart. Thing is, I'll show you real briefly. Alright, like this happens to my shoes. They wind up breaking apart and stuff. <clears throat> These particular shoes might not even be more than a month old or something. It might be about a month old. Alright. I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Alright. Of course, the rain and water that'll mess up your shoes and stuff like that. But it's not going to do it to regular shoes. Um, it's not really going to do it to regular shoes so quickly. The reason for all this is the stitching may be better. The glue, the quality of glue that they use probably better. Stuff like this. I want you to know that I knew exactly what I was getting into. In fact, I talked about this on a previous installment that I did that I accidentally deleted. All right, If you notice, there hasn't been a workout video. For like few, a few days. That's because I did one. I filmed it and then I, I think I deleted it. Uh, sometimes, you know, moving stuff around, I accidentally delete stuff. But I talked about it. Talked about that exact situation. My shoes falling apart real quick. All right. And I knew all about it. I knew it was going to happen. All right. I knew it was going to happen faster than the average shoe. And the reason I knew this is because I got these shoes from Walmart. All right, call me what you will. I just went to Walmart and got some shoes. All right, when I bought the shoes, I knew for a fact there's no way around it. These shoes were made by slaves. Period. There's just no way around it. All right, can't get shoes this cheap. All right, I think all in with tax, I paid like twenty bucks. Twenty for these shoes, so I knew they were going to fall apart almost immediately, and that's what they're starting to do. I could still use them for a little while longer. Of course, I can't be running out in the rain, because they'll basically dissolve. Um, so I'm going to play it cool today. In fact, I'm going to do some exercises, and I might show y'all, all right, just to show y'all a little bit of some stuff that I do, if you're curious. But I didn't want to talk about that. The shoes, I knew they were made by slaves. They're definitely made by slaves. There's no way around it. And the thing is, what I got to say about a lot of this stuff, most of this stuff that you'll ever see, come from China in particular, but there's other places. That stuff, that's 
for sure it's made by slaves and I'll tell you what something else poor quality all right and that's what you're gonna notice as time goes on they don't teach this to children in school necessarily all right they don't show them with these sort of things but I'll tell you something when you get out in the world and you start working and maybe building some stuff maybe uh, manufacturing some stuff if you do anything that's kind of complicated and stuff you're gonna notice that the China stuff is all BS it's all very poor quality. It's basically designed to break real quick, all right? It's not designed that way. It's just they're not, they, I don't, it's like they shortcut everything. I'm not going to say that they're not good at what they do. It's that they shortcut everything to include paying their workers. It's called slaves, all right? So that's very important to note about China. For a long time, they've had a, a bunch of slaves, even if they don't call it that. They got poor quality stuff. I knew this going in, paid 20 bucks. I knew for sure that my shoes were gonna fall apart and they did. All right, I'm gonna consider buying, you know, uh, higher price shoes next time, all right. But, you know, for the most part, it's something to be concerned about with shoes. So lots of times they get made by slaves, all right. And lots of times, people here in America, in certain places, they get uh, shot up for their shoes, man. It's terrible, it doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I'll show you some of these exercises. And I'll hop up out of here. But just so y'all know, like I said, I didn't post that last video, but I did not go three days. All right. I didn't. Uh, on the third day, I skipped two days. And on the third day, I made that video. I wound up deleting it because I'm so scatterbrained sometimes. And now I'm back. And I did take another day off. I had to actually go to jury duty. All right. I didn't see not one case and stuff. They called me up. They were like, ah, we don't need you. Get out of here. And it took many hours and stuff like that. It didn't work out yesterday. But I'm back on it and stuff. And you know what? I'm going to show you some new stuff because I think I'm going to about to get into some stuff that I used to be into. All right. As far as running. And uh, I used to carry a lot of weight when I ran and stuff like that too. And that had a certain kind of effect. All right. And I'm uh, pretty excited to get back into that sort of stuff. I used to carry a lot of weight. I used to actually carry an American flag. All right. Got so sort of famous out of here. Uh, a few years back, all sort of people started recognizing me around town. And I'll leave on this note. All right, if you want to know, and it doesn't matter what country you come from, I don't think. If you want to know, running around with the American flag or whatever country that you're from, running around, typically, if you live in a free country, running around in uh, America with an American flag will make you one of the most popular people in your town, right? Immediately. Thing is, some people, way back when I used to do it, I want to share this, this quick story with y'all. Way back when I used to run around with the American flag, this was a number of years ago, maybe four or five years ago, I started getting kind of well known around town. People waved at me, people saluted me, people honked the horn everywhere I went. People sometimes buy my groceries for me if I was in the grocery store. It was really nuts. All right, and I really appreciated it. It was a whole big ball of love. I, I gotta let y'all know. All right, and I feel like if you're in America and if if America is working the way that it should, you will become. If you if you were to attempt to do that, you will become the most popular person. All right, and if you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it, it's you're just gonna grow in popularity. I remember back then. This is before the days of Donald Trump and stuff like this. I remember back then. Some people would ask me. A number of people would say. You know, don't you feel uh, unsafe doing that? I swear they asked me that. And as you can imagine, they did. They said, don't you feel unsafe doing that? Oh, because what if someone doesn't like America? And what if they choose to attack you? Because, you know, you're running around with American flag and all this. And it forced me to think about that. I said, what if somebody doesn't like America? All right. Ultimately, I came I came to the conclusion that they're going to have to get at me, bro, because I'm not going to... It's like, I'm going to do what I want, number one, and I'm in America, secondly. But even more so, what I wanted to share is that if anybody... I could tell. I could feel it. I could feel the electricity. I could feel that Hulkamania. If anybody ever did mess with me, while I was running around town with that American flag, they would have got dealt with by any number of people just standing by. Just standing by, they would have got dealt with whether they knew it or not. Because I could feel it, right? It's probably the safest thing you could do. It's the most popular thing you could do. 
If you're in a free country, I suggest you go out there and do it. And guess what? You're going to gain all sort of popularity. And you're going to be the safest person around, right? Nobody's going to want to mess with you, basically. And I might get back into that. All right, we'll, we'll see what we do. Um, I might get back into that. But I'll show you all, all the different developments and stuff uh, pretty dang soon. I'll holler at y'all and I appreciate y'all. Y'all let me know what you're doing out there. Hey y'all, uh, um, as it turns out, I was able to take a small run after uh, this working out, this various working outs that I did right here that I'm doing right now. Uh, I was able to take a small run because the rain let up as it typically does. It let up some and I was able to get out there. I ran actually from maybe the park to Walgreens and back. Not a very long run, but sometimes I like to change it up. You know, you could do plyometrics, you could do a weight training and things of strength training and then run, which is what I did today in that sequence. And then I'll provide a different result than if you run and then do, you know, change the sequence up. Anyways, all this mumbo jumbo. I don't suggest that you do any of these exercises that you're seeing me do right now, at least until we talk about it or maybe you already do some of these. I know my form isn't all the way perfect, but you know, I'm just getting back into things and stuff. You give me some time, dang. All right, so like I said, I don't recommend you do any of these things. If it's new to you, um, until we talk about it first, I just wanted to show you some of the things. Anyway, that's about it. I have to go and take a shower. And I appreciate y'all. It's February the 26th, 2019.